The default change weight command allows you to set and change the weight of entities in RealCAD. Weight is the thickness of the line work. Selecting the command displays a dialog box listing the available weights. You can select from a range of weights from 0 to 3 mm thick. 0 is a special thickness. It means those entities will be printed at the minimum thickness your printer is capable of. Be careful, it could be zero thickness and then those entities won't print. It has happened. Select the weight you want. You can tell which you've selected by the blue bar and the number is shown here as well. Then click OK. Any entities you draw from now on will be drawn in that weight. The currently selected weight is shown down here and visually here. The clone option lets you set the weight to match that of an existing entity. Click on the clone button, then click on the entity with the weight you want and the weight is set. To change the weight of an existing entity or entities, select them first, then select the command. Select the new weight and click OK. Right click to end the selection and the entities have been changed. You can easily change the weight of an entity to match that of an existing entity using the clone option. Select the entities you want to change. Select the command. Select the clone button. Select the entity that has the weight you want and then right click to finish. Entities have been changed to match the entity you chose. You can even set the weight by simply typing it in here. But you can only type the standard weights. If you enter a non-standard weight, the nearest standard weight is automatically selected instead. You must press the tab key to activate the new weight and you can't change an entity's weight in this way. You can check the weight of an entity by double clicking on the entity. The dialog box shows the weight number here. That completes this tutorial.